mic is working properly. Hopefully it is. Thank you for watching Solofin Gaming. And today I'm going to sit there and take you through some various shots of what you can do with a bow. And also how to switch your weapons in a tight situation on the PS4 for ESO. Now, what we got going on here is that basically I was at a nice little city. And I'm about to call my mount here. And we're about to do some snipe shooting. Alright. Let's see if we can find our first target. Technically, as a uh, night blade, what you want to do is be in stealth and use your bow and the snipe, which is the last one that you get, I believe, at level 48 of that ability for the bow. Um, let's see, there's a sky shard up there I haven't got. Look at that. Wow. All right. Let's see. And there's no critters really around. I'm in Reaper's March right now to let you know. That's where I'm at so far on ESO with this character. And here we go. Hopefully we'll find something to sit there and... Uh, this right here, this is a nice little bit. Uh, what you want to do is play practical jokes on everybody to get points here to sit there and, you know, level your character a little bit further with these little missions of playing slight practical jokes. Over here we have, I believe, some snakes and stuff, which are perfect targets coming up. Or, you know, we can go with... Whoop, there's big cats there. We could use that also. But, you know, I want to sit there and show specifically the difference between sniping one way and sniping another. Um, let me see. Alright, here we go here. I'm going... Oh, there's another night blade. Look at that. Run around, disappearing. Now, also, one of the best things you can use is for the night blade will be the mark your target. And then you want to sit there and use another lowly skill. Oh, whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Got too close. But we're going to still sniping. And what that does is it should pause him for a second. And within three shots, he's down. Now, the mark target uh, takes away, depends on what level you are, it varies. So I ain't going to give you a score on that. Or what it does but the difference is when you mark your target and you're not in the crouching position which causes you they're gonna be able to hit you quicker and you're gonna have to like do a little fight there and once again I'm gonna show you crouching I'm gonna mark the target which takes off basically its physical resistance and magic resistance and I'm gonna snipe him and it's gonna pause him for a second and that pause is gonna let you do that two shots he's down also it increases your critical chance as a night blade now any character can do this a mage anybody but you won't get the same um, results as the night blade will with the bow due to the fact that you get marked target um, now there's several missions in which you can do in the area as you can see I've almost cleared the entire map with this character a few small things here and there that I have not done with this character in particular mostly I play on the computer but this is a PS4 video just to sit there and show you a variance in sniping and what it does a lot of people are not using the bow that much and some people are depending on who you are I guess and what you like like I said snipe shot is a shot to sit there and if you do it correctly you can take out a target I didn't mark it just to show you there that was not a marked target now I'll sit there and pick out another lonely target over here by itself. And I'm going to mark it. Then do the same thing with it. And they were going to mark the target. And then we're going to snipe it. And there should be a complete as it's. It's stunned. It's critted and down. There you go. Like I said, there's a little bit of tidbit for the snipe uh, when it comes to the night blade. Very deadly class um, as far as 101. As far as groups, the best thing you can do is probably do dual wield. And you will sit there and, of course, do the nice, lovely spin tornado attacks, which sit there and will help you out when you're in a group. Although, still one of my best uh, players is going far as the game is the sorcerer class. They're very deadly. Just to show you a small demonstration, Nightblade popping in, doing a little stab, and finishing off with taking it down. Also sitting there going back from here. And you can sit there and vary it even more if you wish to sit there. And like I said, switching from targets is real easy on the PS4 
computer you sit there and slapping a button but it's still quick as if you sit there and these people right here check them out they're like gorkin hunters oops somebody wants to attack me real quick i guess i got too close to them uh, actually we got uh, another gamer here uh playing through which is fine but what you want to do is you want to mark the target and if you're going to do wield, you can sit there and do a snipe shot on the first one. Then you're going to sit there and pop in. And he's stunned over there off to the side. And that gives you the ability to sit there and come in and get the stamina bonus going for the spin attack. And he wanted to help out a little bit, which is cool. You know, hey, that's what the game's about. It's helping out, right? All right. So a lore book. Do you sit there and improve your mage line skills? And that's going to be basically all for today. A little bit of variant because it's my first broadcast. I'm going to check this video out before I sit there and send it out to everybody. But I hope everybody has a lovely day. And thank you for being here with Solofin Gaming. All right.